All right, everybody. Um, I'm making this video for a lot of people uh, into the dump trailers and everything like that. But I have a different project going on. Um, as you can see, let me zoom out here a little bit. Basically, this is a 20-foot uh, car trailer. And uh, what I emptimized was a uh, car lift. Uh, uh, scissor jacks onto the um, onto the trailer uh, so yeah it took a little bit of uh, engineering and uh, knowledge to get this done don't mind the junk on the trailer um, wrapping stuff up here um, this is the controls where everything's at um, that's a basic um, what I used was the regular jumper cables cheap ones from like dollar store or whatever uh they work as well um i put a key switch in where you switch it off there's no power um also two uh, led indicator uh with the switch when you turn it on you can see the green buttons on you turn it off it's off anyway getting back to uh this remote stuff uh, this is a single acting pump, um, which means pressure up, and uh, when you hit the down, it's gravity flow down. Um, nothing more, nothing less. But anyway, I'm going to walk you through how I installed. Um, even though we put this upside down, it's a Badland winches um, wireless remote. Um, it's this. So basically this um but anyway this this pump came with this remote and i went through a couple remotes before i actually had to sit down and really think about this which i was looking at a lot of youtube videos and nothing really came to mind um so i ended up doing it on my own and what i did was i cut this this remote i cut the wire uh about halfway through or whatever and on that wire it comes from the solenoid here which uh, let me get these wires here moved so you have a green coming in and you got a black coming into the solenoid right here for the single acting pump I have this emergency uh, valve here just in case if something happens I can release it and bring it down but on the lift uh, there's uh, interlocks, air interlocks, which is going to be over here. I'm going to have a little air tank put it here. Um, and then it's going to go out and it's going to feed the in air interlocks on the, um, on the lift. But anyway, back to this winch. Um, so I installed, we installed the remote here. This one here from Harbor Freight. <coughs> $40 for it. And so, what I did was, I took these wires here, which this is the main power, this is the down, and this is up. So, down, up, main power. That's all it is for the single acting, um, single acting pumps. So, <clears throat> the wires could be different colors, um, but you just got to know what is up, what's down, and what's hot. Them's the three uh, basic uh, things you need. Then uh, we took the Badlands um, remote winch here. It came with, um, I cut the wire in half uh, and decided that I want this remote on. So the red is um, your main power, which is the brown, which was the main power in this box. So what I did was took the main power from the, the uh, wireless and put it into where the main power would be on the remote, on that remote. And then I took the ground and the ground will go back and ground to the motor. Okay. So that's what I did with that. And then the green is the up button. And how I know that is 
I used the test light and made sure it was up and down um, on both of these. So the green's going to be your up and white's going to be your down. So what I did was I followed it back to this remote. My blue on here was up and my green is down. So the green on here, which is, oops, sorry about that, which is the in. So basically this is going to be up, this is going to be in, or this is going to be up, this is going to be down, I'm sorry. So, uh, so what I did was I put the uh, green, which is the in for the up, and then the white is for the out, and that's going to be for the green. So I'm sorry if I didn't, uh, let me re say, uh, rephrase this. Uh, the green will be for the up, which is the in on the wireless remote from Harbor Freight. The white to the green is the down, which is the out on the Harbor Freight remote to the down. Okay. So sorry if I didn't explain that a little bit better, but that's what happens. So anyway, um, the blue goes to the up. This is the four post solenoid. Um, I bought that off Amazon. So basically this is the main power here coming into the solenoid. This is the main that was going to the switch, which I, I put here, which would be running to the red on the wireless remote here. And then the brown or yeah, I'm sorry, the blue is your up. So the up will go here and then your down, which would be the black coming out of the solenoid which will go here also and then you have to make a jumper from here to here in order for this all to work so it took us uh, a couple of days to figure this all out and it, it does work um let's see if i can get it get it here to work before i make any fire or whatever but i don't think it will so I can show you here real quick. So this is the wireless. This is the lift. It goes up. And then it comes down. Thanks for watching.